Hey guys, Jim Nix from Nomadic Pursuits and hope you're having a great day. I've been playing around with the new filters in the Pluto edition of Luminar. I hope you have it. If you don't, uh, make sure you download it now. It's uh, it's pretty awesome. There's there's several new things you can do, but there's three new filters and they are the Golden Hour, the Dehaze, and they updated the color temp. So I'm going to go in here and grab the three of these. I thought what I would do is um, there are videos, by the way, going on the MacFun site for each individual filter, but I thought I would take all three. I thought it'd be kind of fun take all three and just stick them on one photo and show you what the, you know what they can do for you because I think they're quite powerful. And in fact, I'm going to edit this photo just with these three new filters and nothing else. And I think it's a pretty good result. Um, I might would do more, but uh, you know, hey, this is uh, this is for fun. So let me show you that dehaze is great. It takes some of that blown out sort of stuff it creates a bit more balanced image really creates a bit more clarity in the image really good for fog or mist or that sort of thing this was kind of a misty morning in paris uh, golden hour as the name implies really does add a nice golden glow so that's that's really good for bringing up some, sort of the golden tones um, and i've just added it here as you can see however it's a little too gold and so i'm going to use the color temperature to set, sort of reset the white balance it was, uh, it was kind of a blown out, kind of gray morning, and I want to create a little bit more uh, blue kind of uh, look to it. I just like that look better. So with the color temperature, you can do that by moving the sliders around, right? So you, you're probably familiar with that. That's the same as it was in the previous version. But now if you're using a raw file, you have uh, the option of these drop downs, And you don't have it in the JPEGs uh, if you're using a JPEG because... Um, in, in a JPEG, the camera is basically choosing a white balance for you if you didn't choose it already. Uh, with RAW files, I just prefer to shoot RAW. I think it's better because you can make uh, greater edits later. And as you probably know, I like to edit my photos. So let me click through these. You can see the differences. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you what. Let me do the before and after. So there's as shot. Um, there's daylight, cloudy, uh, shade. This tungsten is crazy blue, right? I don't want that. Fluorescent, which I like that a lot. I think that looks really good. It's maybe a little bit too blue, but that's a good place to start at least. And flash. I'm going to go back to as shot and just leave it um, with the, uh, you know, the way it was shot because I want to show you the eyedropper. So now you click on the eyedropper and basically it allows you to select a, a portion of the photo to use as the base um, for the other adjustments that, that the white balance uh uh, how do you say it? Um, the photo is going to be adjusted based on how whichever piece of the photo you select with the eyedropper. So if I select this yellow, it's going to assume that that's neutral and it's going to create some crazy colors. I don't really like that, but if I come over here where it's a little bit right on the edge of that, a lot better, right? So let me show you the before and after. Uh, that might be a good thing to do. If you come over here, right, sort of a very neutral. If you pick the sky, right, very neutral. And so uh, a lot of people use the, the eyedropper to, to uh, sort of select a neutral sort of gray area. Uh, I'm going to try a couple more just to see what happens here. But um, I'm trying to get a little bit more blue color. So I found that with some experimentation, kind of clicking over here is, is a nice starting point. You can see the before and after. It's not a huge difference. But I think I would come in here and maybe be uh, take that a little bluer, take that a little pinker, and create a little bit more dreamy sort of look. And let me show you the before and after. And let me show you what each uh, filter has done now. The dehaze, right? That was a little bit brighter. It's sort of taken some of that brightness out, which I kind of like. The golden hour, if I didn't do this, the color tint that I chose would make it all blue. But the golden hour really brought up some of these golds in these uh, street lights, which I like a lot. And of course, the color temp made a big difference. And one more time, the before and after across the entire photo, right? Sort of hazy, sort of washed out, sort of kind of blah and now a bit I think a bit better looking so I probably wouldn't end here I wouldn't call this a completed photo you might add some contrast I might bring in the tone filter and do some of that but it's certainly a lot better and you could use this as your starting point and then go add more filters or, or whatever you want to do but the point is I just wanted to demonstrate the three new filters and do them all in the same photo I thought it was kind of an interesting exercise they've uh, I think brought the photo a long way uh, and that's part of the power of Luminar. Very, uh, very fun. The Pluto update's great. If you don't have it, go get it now. And uh, that's it for today. So have fun out there. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. See you next time, folks. Adios.